Welcome to Overtime, where we spend a little extra time with our favorite polo players and personalities. But since none of them are available today, let's talk to Nick Weldan instead. I'm kidding, of course. Brother, how are you? It looks beautiful. Tell us, how are Josh. you? How's, how's everyone doing? Josh, what's going on, brother? Good to, good to finally catch up. Everything's good here in Aspen. Uh, uh, you know, we've been very, uh, very blessed and, and grateful to be in, a, in such a beautiful place and um, being able to play some polo out here. So uh, it's been a great summer. We got a lot of, you know, the top polo players here playing and uh, we got some great tournaments and a lot of uh, outdoor activity. So we're having a good time, man. We're having See, a good time. I was going to say, scenery's not bad either, right behind you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so no, on overtime, on, on overtime, we do six chuckers, six quick questions uh, for you to be as honest about. Let's begin. Chucker number one. Which actor should play Nick Roldan in the movie based on your life? Who's playing you? Oof, man, that's a, that's a good one. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe, maybe Chris Hemsworth or, uh, mm. yeah, I think Chris Hemsworth could be a good one. Or, or, or maybe his brother if he's not available. Or, may, or, or, or maybe his brother if he's not available. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Chuck, Chucker so, number two. Yeah. Chucker number two, which is better, five goals in a game or a hole-in-one in golf? Oof, a hole in one in golf. I still to this day have not had a hole in one in golf, which is uh, pretty pathetic considering how much golf I play. So, uh, but I have to say, probably five goals in a game is a little bit more uh, is a little bit more uh, exciting. So, and a little bit more, uh, yeah. So, what is, what is the most goals you've ever scored in a single game? Um, I want to say nine, ten goals in a game, probably. Wow, wow, yeah. Great, greedy. Yeah. Should share the ball maybe once in a while. Spread yeah. that around. <laughs> exactly. Chucker. Exactly. Number three, who was your very first celebrity crush? My first celebrity crush, oof, Cindy Crawford. Yes. Cindy Crawford, yes. She's, um, I mean, she's obviously beautiful, but uh, that, that was, I was one of my, definitely one of my crushes as, as growing up, so. For a lot of us, no argument there. For, uh, yeah, I'm sure, yeah. Chucker number four, if calories, carbs, and fat did not count for just one food item, which one food item would you choose it be for? Pizza, baby. Love my pizza. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, can, you, uh, I, can you get good pizza in Aspen? Is it available? I'm we have a place called New York Pizza, which is pretty damn good. I mean, uh, uh, you know, obviously New York City pizza is, is amazing. And, and uh, you know, I've only been to Italy once, but I heard the pizza there is pretty good, too. But I have to say the, the pizza here in Aspen is good. So shout out to New York Pizza here in Aspen. I mean, the Italians kind of invented it. So when you say it might gonna, be pretty was, good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> might might make sense, Nick. Uh, deep dish, Chicago style, thin crust, New York style. Uh, thin, uh, thin style. Disappoint me. I'm a New Yorker too. You yeah. still disappoint me. I Chucker know. number five with Nick Weldon in a celebrity karaoke competition. Which is your song for the game winner? Oh, I think uh, maybe a little Tom Petty, Free Fallen, or a really? little Journey. Yeah, maybe a little Journey, you know, uh, Don't Stop Believe. What's this? I don't know, even know what the saying is. Don't Stop Believing. What's the name of that mm. song? I would imagine if we, it's your go. I would imagine if it's your go to for the win, you might want to know the name <laughs> of the song, let alone the words to the song. It's a good thing they're printed on the screen, right, Nick? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Josh. <laughs> One or the other. Chucker uh, number six. All good, yeah, my friend. Yeah. What oh, is man. the very best part of playing polo all summer long in Aspen with the Aspen Valley Polo Club? The very best part. I don't think there's one best part. I think it's uh, it's 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 everything. It's the, it's Aspen. It's the town. It's the restaurants. It's the activities. The hiking. The biking, and the polo. I mean, the polo is getting better every year. Uh, um, you know, we've got two new incredible fields that are now two years old that have you know in prime shape. You know, we got some of the best polo players in the world. Um, we've got eight, nine teams per weekend. Uh, you know, Aspen Valley Polo Club is growing and we're in Aspen, man. It doesn't get any better. So we're, we're super stoked to be here. We're, and uh, I'm definitely grateful that I can, you know, that, that I can, can obviously share this with you guys and, and experience it. And, uh, you know, thanks to Mark and Melissa and, and the Aspen Valley Polo Club. Uh, we're out here having a great summer, so. What a great job they've done in the development of the game and the love of the game out there yeah. in Aspen. Nick Roldan, yes, thank you for your time on Overtime. Um, maybe learn the name of the song when you're competing to sing it. It'll be easier that way for the DJ to play it. 
Uh, make sure that you follow Aspen Valley Bo uh, Polo Club on social media, as well as Grand Champions Polo Club, and of course, Chucker TV. And we'll catch you next time for more overtime right here on Chucker TV.